So go to stat key, and uh, I'm going to demonstrate it using stat key right now. And we're going to start off with the Reese's Pieces, which was a proportion. So I'm dealing with a confidence interval. I'm going to be going to a proportion and confidence interval for that. And it'll look something like this. Now, we could go ahead and edit our data so it would match. And so then, because sometimes the data for your problems will already be in here. Um, so I'm going to just type this in. We had 52 for our account. We had a sample size of 100. I'll click OK. You'll notice that's what was there before, but it was a different thing. But sometimes if you hit this drop down menu, the data you're looking for will be there. But I just wanted to show you how to edit your data. So once again, I hit edit data, typed in my count, my sample size. So you could generate one sample. And in this case, oops, I got to move this down. And here's the sample, the bootstrap sample that was just plotted. We could do another one and so on. And here, the last one that was just generated was this, and it shows up right here. Now, if I want to hover over this one here, you'll notice how uh, when I hover over this one here, the bootstrap sample on the right side over here changes. Move it to here, it change. But I want to do close to about 5,000. You could only do 1,000, but I, I personally like to do around 5,000. So we have our original sample up here. This is our statistic right here, 0.52. This is our standard error right here. And so we could use that to get our confidence interval. Well, now let's take a look at that Mustang example. That was where we were looking at the mean. So I'm going to select mean right here. We just had one mean. Then I'm going to hit my drop down and I'm going to look at Mustangs because that's what we're dealing with. And we have our original sample right here. This matches our dot plot that we were given, given on the PowerPoint, our sample size, the mean we had. Then we could go ahead and just generate many random samples bootstrap wise. And that gives us our standard error that we can use with our original statistic right here with this here to generate our 95% confidence interval. Let's go ahead and take a look at the Atlanta driving time, which we're looking at the time. We were finding an average out of that, which is your mean. So I'm going to select mean here. I'm going to go up here. The data is already in here. If it wasn't, we'd have to enter the data, but Here's our original. These are the dot plots. You don't see the individual dots here because there were so many here. So then we could just generate our samples. And we could do our 95% confidence interval from using our mean from our original sample and our standard error that we get from our sampling distribution or bootstrap sampling distribution. If we wanted to do the one with, uh, what was it, um, global warming, and we were looking at proportions there, we would use this one here. If it's in here, great. If not, we can always add it in here by doing edit the data. Edit your data, and we had 1328 for the count, and our sample size was 2251. And then once again, generate your bootstrap distribution. And then you have your sample statistic that we'll use here, plus or minus two times your standard error to get that 95% confidence interval. Now, you can do that with any of these here. If you're looking at the difference in the mean, two means, you would use this one here. Difference in two proportions, you'd use this one here.